Drooling is inevitable. I mean, it will happen at least once in your life. As a little baby, you probably had an uncontrollable stream of saliva 24-7. Or maybe you drooled a little when you were dreaming about a tasty snack in a boring class when you were 12. Perhaps a little saliva ran down your chin when you were looking at a fancy car you couldn't afford. And of course we all know the tired parent who falls asleep five minutes into a flight and drools everywhere. But what's the culprit behind all these accidents? It's of course the salivary glands. Today we're looking at the parotid gland, or more specifically, its microstructure. As we investigate its histology. We've already established what our topic is for the day, but let's take a deeper look at what we'll learn today. We'll have a recap of the gross anatomy, location and function of the parotid gland. We'll then look at the tissue or stroma of the parotid gland, including its capsule, interlobular septa, and how they divide the parotid gland into lobules. Next up, we'll look at the main functional unit of the parotid gland, known as the salivon, and the duct arrangement within it. Finally, we'll identify some structures housed in the connective tissue surrounding the parotid gland and we'll finish up with some clinical notes. The parotid gland is the largest of the three major salivary glands. It is a paired exocrine gland which releases serous secretions into the oral cavity. That means the secretions are watery and rich in enzymes which play a role in digestion of carbohydrates. The gland is located subcutaneously in front of the ear and is roughly triangular in shape. It is divided into deep and superficial lobes. The secretions of the parotid gland drain into the oral cavity via the parotid duct, also known as the Stenson duct, which can be about 5 to 7 centimetres long. If you'd like to know more about the gross anatomy of the parotid gland, we have a whole article and a video dedicated to the parotid gland. Now that your memory is all refreshed, it's time we focus on our topic in question, the parotid gland histology. The parotid gland, just like the other major salivary glands, is covered by a thick, dense connective tissue capsule. The capsule sends extensions into the parenchyma of the parotid gland, forming interlobular septa. Within the septa, you'll find the larger blood vessels and excretory ducts, which we'll be talking about in a while. These septa divide the parotid gland into what is known as glandular lobules. Now let's take a closer look at what we'll find in these lobules. Essentially, all elements you'll see here are parts of a salivon, the functional unit of salivary glands. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.